Hello everyone, welcome back to the 4Play channel. I'm Bella. I'm Jace. Before we get into today's video, make sure to leave this video a like. It really, really helps us out. Make sure to subscribe and leave a comment down below if you guys have any questions about this video, any videos you want to see from us in the future. <laughs> We were lucky enough to be able to go to Chicago, Illinois, so we could go attend a young couples party. And you'll see more information about that in an upcoming video. But today's video is going to be about our trip to Chicago. So the day started off really, really early. I don't know why we booked a 5 a.m. flight, but we did. 5.05 in the morning, we're here. Going we'll to the airport here. lounge. Then we're going to Chicago. So we got to the airport really early in the morning. We went by, stopped at the lounge, one of our favorite things to do. We're at the lounge, the airport lounge in DFW. We were able to take the sky thingy, sky train over to here and yay, it's the best. Once we got to Chicago, we had to find a way to get to the car pickup place, the car rental place. And we wanted to try to work the train bus system because it was only maybe 10 minutes away. We are going to take the, the train, I guess, to... We're going to pick up our rental car. It's only like 8 minutes from here, I think, 10 minutes. So I guess we're going to find out how the train works because... We've never done it before. First time. So we missed our bus by 2 minutes. <laughs> so we're hanging out here for around half an hour. But we didn't know what we were going to do in Chicago. We had like no clue what we are in Chicago. So now we kind of have a game plan of what we're going to do. We're going to take the bus to our rental car place. I think it's only like 10 minutes. Funny story. So I was wearing this shirt, you know, all day. And on the airplane, this lady was like, do you, do you play tennis? And I was like, no. And then I, she was like, oh, I thought about your shirt. Like maybe you were watching Wimbledon or something. And then I was like, okay, I can see it. This upside down pineapple does resemble a tennis racket. This is our bus. It's gonna take us where we need to go. Here she is, Elantra. Uh, so we picked up the car. We did a little damage report with uh, Trevor Noah there. in there. Oh my God, the car is from Texas. We picked up the car. We did head over to Chinatown. It was around lunchtime, so we definitely need to get a bite to eat, and that's really close to where we were staying. Okay, we made it to Chinatown. It took a little bit to park, but found a parking spot, and now we're gonna go get some like like steam Dumpling. buns dumplings we saw a cute little souvenir store so we went in there and found some interesting trinkets this is only 24.99 remember when i said i didn't have a purse this is not the purse that you need. You cannot carry that everywhere. Are you sure? Oh, Totoro! We found a place to sit on these steps. We thought they were houses, but it just says an association. And it's for rent, so I think that we'll be okay sitting here. We got our bows. We got what kind? We got a we Chinese got sausage, pork, or like barbecue pork. Mm -hmm. We got a red bean mochi and an egg custard. So excited. Don't worry, I have hand sanitizer and our new cup, personalized, foreplay.com slash shop. Get your own name here. So freaking cute. We're gonna do a little Chinatown dumpling review. Yes. Or I mean, bow review, not Look dumpling. how big, this is like $1.50. We got six of them, or five, four of them for like $6. Oh, I can feel the sausage in here. Feels just like your bean. That was good. That is nice. Okay, pork next. This is the one that I'm most excited for. The mochi red bean. Mm. Mm. We are so exhausted from flying in so early that morning that we got back to our place, we took a little nap, and then lots of people told us we had to go to Navy Pier, so that was our next stop. We got to an Airbnb after we left Chinatown, we ate, and then we, just, we took a nap yeah, for what, an hour or yeah. so? Got ready. And now we are in downtown Chicago. Look how tall that is, holy <laughs> Uh, and now we're walking in Navy Pier, and then we're gonna go see the bean after that, and then we're gonna eat. So we're just gonna take you along with us. Look how cool this view is. Wow. What do you think of this? God, I'm saying wow. This blows my mind that this is a lake, because in Texas our lakes don't, don't look, look like, like this. oceans. And this just, it's crazy. Look at those yachts. Goals. 
We didn't know exactly what to expect from Navy Pier. I thought it literally was going to be like Santa Monica Pier or something like that. But there was a lot of restaurants. It was a huge food court. They were shopping and everything. It was so nice. The next thing we did was we like to walk through cities so we can kind of experience them as we're going. So we walked from Navy Pier to Millennium Park, which was a decently long walk. So we left Navy Pier and we're walking like half an hour to Millennium Park. And look how like nice this is. I just hope you don't get sunburned. I'm already sunburned, so too late. Yikes. But it's so pretty here. Made it to the bean. Finally. Over there. It took a really long walk. Yeah, it took it took a while. I feel like I might advise taking an Uber or something from <laughs> Navy Pier to Millennial Park, but you know, it was like 35 minutes. It was a nice walk. Uh, the park was closed at like every entrance, but we finally found one that was open. So now we're here. There it is. Okay, what are your thoughts? Thoughts. Explain that to people. I'm flicking the bean in public. All right, bean, we're leaving you. Nice time. What'd you think of the bean? I think the bean is very cool. But I don't know, like, now what? Like, now that I've been here, what else do I do with it? But it was fun. You I'm flick definitely it. glad flick, we flick, flick the bean. <laughs> Let me try to flick it with my eyes Together. closed. We finished walking at Millennium Park, went to Portillo's, because everyone said that is the Chicago thing to do. We got the famous hot dog, just like it comes. We got the french fries. We got a beef sandwich, which looks like beef something. We also got these hot peppers that are supposed to go on there. We ordered them, but then they didn't give them to us, so we went back and got the side of them. And now we're gonna put them on the sandwich. A little. More than a little disappointed. Listen, okay. The hot dog tasted like a Costco hot dog with extra toppings. The sandwich tasted like an RB sandwich with chow chow relish, if you know what that is. The fries tasted like Brahms. And do you agree? <laughs> yes, I totally agree. I think it was good. I'm not trying to say that the food was not good, but I feel like I knew about this place before it ever came to Chicago. I don't know much about Chicago, but I knew about this place. So you almost expect when a city is known for something, for it to, I would think it'd be really, really extraordinarily great. Would I go again? No. Am I glad I went? Yeah. Four and a half out of 10. I would give it four and a half out of 10 Would not too. really recommend. Honestly. Yeah. The next morning we got up, we wanted to have some coffee and we were like, where can we walk to? We're still in Chinatown. So we found a McDonald's and we walked about like a mile to McDonald's and we actually found a really cool thrift store next to it. Slept in a little bit and then Decided to go on a walk. I wanted some coffee. We found a McDonald's and thanks to watching the Ryan Trey hand videos, knew that you can get coffee for a dollar. So we got two large sugar-free iced vanilla coffees, found a thrift store, found the greatest find. Jace has never been happier. This is what I got from the thrift store. I love one of these little denim skirts forever. And I love this shirt. I think it is so cool. Let me put the back over. This is the back of it. It's so cool. It's my favorite thing. It's one of my favorite things I've ever found. I'm just so pumped about both these items. I think total, it was like $8. This shirt was $5 and that was like $2.50. So Chicago came through. We were hungry for lunch and we knew we were pretty close to Chinatown, enough to where we could walk to that same bow store. And so we went back to the Chinese bakery and got more food. I don't know why it was such a highlight to me, but we got back from the little bakery and we sat down and at this point, Ryan Trahan was doing his penny series, which if you have not seen that, it's well worth the watch. But we just sat and we watched the final day of his little vlog and we ate our lunch and it was just such a nice, relaxing morning. After we finished eating, we got ready and then we went to the Lincoln Park Zoo. I was so excited to go to the zoo. I was so surprised that they had giraffes, they had a polar bear, they had uh, penguins, they had so many different animals, and it was free. I could not believe that that zoo was free. It was beautiful, and it was one of my personal highlights from the entire trip. After we left the zoo, we wanted to walk to dinner, and someone had recommended a pizza place. You know, you have to get pizza in Chicago, and it was called Pequods or Pequods, I don't know how to say it, but it was around a two mile walk, but we got to walk on the most beautiful street with the coolest houses, and it was honestly another one of my favorite things the entire trip. I feel much happier with dinner tonight than yesterday. This one to me lived up to what I hoped it would be. Yes. The pizza was so like thick and the I feel like there was so much flavor in the crust 
And oh yes, go to Pequod if you are in Chicago because and get that the pan pizza. That's what yeah. We've got. And Jay so thinks that good. there's probably a ton of flavor that's baked into the pan that they use to make all the other pizzas. So that probably does have a lot to do with it. And the crust is good. Jay says now he's converted and he likes crust. Now we're just walking back to a car and it is such a nice night. Like the temperature's perfect. I'm just, I'm enjoying Chicago. And I love this walk because the houses are beautiful. Like actually yeah. beautiful. We had a ton of leftover pizza, and so after that, we went home. We stopped by Target, actually. I don't think we have clips of it, but we did stop by Target so I could get some cookies. <laughs> and we ate that, and we just relaxed the rest of the night. And that was it for like our Chicago, Chicago journey. The next day, we went to Young Couples Party, which will be a whole video about that, so make sure to look out for that video coming out. Overall, I thought Chicago was a super cool city. I'm super thankful that we got to go and experience it together, because you'd never been. The first time I went, I was so young, I don't even remember remember it and so I feel like it was just a really fun little weekend trip and I'm so thankful that we got to do it thank you guys so much for watching again make sure to like and subscribe leave a comment of what other kind of videos you want to see from us and we will see you in the next one bye, bye.